Kama wewe ukai kwenye magoti muda mrefu If you don't stay in prayer for a long time. Na wewe unajua umetengwa kwenye dunia hii kama mtumishi wa Mungu. And you know you have been set apart in this world as a servant of God. Na ndio maana hata watu wote wanajua wewe ni mchungaji, wewe ni mwinjilisti, wewe ni mwalimu, wewe ni nabii, wewe ni mtume, wewe ni askofu. And that's why many people know that you are a pastor, you are an evangelist, you are a prophet, you are a teacher, you are a bishop, you have been chosen by God. Wanaelewa kabisa hata watu wa mataifa wasio ya dini yako wanajua wewe ni nani. Even people of the world who do not know God, they know who you are. Umebeba jina la Mungu ndani yako. You are carrying the name of God within you. Lakini usipojua kutembea naye. But if you don't know how to walk with that name. Hata maneno tu akinena mabaya yatakupata. Even those evil words that they speak against you, they are going to attack you. Mbinu wanazozitumia moja wapo kwenye ulimwengu wa roho. One of the ways that they use in the spiritual world kwanza wanakunenea mabaya kwenye ulimwengu wao wa roho. One thing they do, they speak evil against you in the spiritual world. Wanaweza kukunenea huduma yako vibaya, kanisa lako vibaya. They can speak negative things concerning your ministry and your church. Wanakunenea juu ya mke wako, mume wako, watoto wako vibaya. They can speak negative things towards your wife, towards your children, towards your family. Maana wanaponena because as they speak Alafu wewe huna muda mrefu wa kukaa na Mungu. And you don't have enough time to stay before God. Swali. Question is. Nani atakwambia mambo ya sirini ya kuzimu ambayo yamenenwa bila wewe kujua? Who is going to reveal to you the negative things that have been spoken in the spiritual world against you in no. the world of darkness? Na utayakanushaje wakati una taarifa ya kimbingu juu ya hayo? And you how are you going to cancel those words if you don't understand what the heavens are speaking towards you? Ndio maana mbegu yoyote kipandwa isipofukuliwa haraka itaota. That's why whenever a seed has been planted if it is not removed then it will start germinating. Kwa sababu huna muda wa kukaa na Mungu na muda wa vikao na muda wa kutembea una muda wa huku matoke yake huku wanakazana kupanda mapando kwenye ulimwengu wa roho. Because you don't have enough time to stay before God. You have a lot of time to move here and there and to plan other things and they continue speaking evil in the spiritual world. Wangapi wananielewa kitu nasema? How many people are understanding me? Maana kushindana kwetu si juu ya damu na Because our warfare is not in between flesh and blood. Swali, nani atakutaarifu mambo ya sirini? Who is going to tell you the secret things? Yamenenwa kuzimu tayari. They have been spoken in hell. Wamepanda juu ya huduma yako vibaya tayari. They have planned evil against your ministry. Wameua huduma yako, wameua mke wako, wameua mume wako, alafu wakamzika kwenye ulimwengu wa roho tayari. They have killed your wife. They have killed your ministry. They have killed even your children in the spiritual world. Who is going to tell you this? Kumbukumbu 29 mstari wa 29. Uh, the book of Deuteronomy 29 verse 29. 29 29. Deuteronomy 29 verse 29. Inasema hivi. Mambo ya siri ni ya Bwana Mungu wetu. Lakini mambo yaliyofunuliwa ni yetu sisi na watoto wetu milele ili tuyafanye maneno ya sheria hii. Na chota kwa angalia hivi, mambo ya sirini ni ya Bwana Mungu wetu. Sawa eh? Yes. Si tunaamini Mungu anajua kila kitu. We believe that God knows everything. Si ni sawa eh? Yes. Lakini mimi na wewe ambao ni watumishi wa Mungu hatujui kila kitu. But me and you who are the servants of God we don't know everything. Ili tuweze kujua kila kitu lazima tumtegemee Mungu moyoni mwetu wakati wote. For us to know everything we have to go before God with all our hearts every day and always. Ndio maana sasa mambo ya siri ni ya Bwana Mungu wetu. The Bible says the secret of the the secret things belongs to the Lord our God. Lakini mambo yaliyofunuliwa ni yetu sisi na watoto wetu. But the things which have been re- revealed belongs to us and to our children forever. Nani atakwambia mambo ya siri ni yaliyofanyika kuzimu jana na juzi? kwa ajili ya huduma yako Who is going to tell you the things of the of the secret which has been spoken in hell yesterday and the day before yesterday Wakati wewe huna muda wa kukaa mbele za Mungu When you you don't have the opportunity to stay before God's presence Ngapi unanielewa How many are understanding me Maana mambo ya siri ni ya Bwana Mungu wetu Because the secret things belongs to God Si tunaamini Mungu anajua mpaka kuzimu na mawazo ya shetani We believe that God knows hell and all the plans of Satan kama umechota udongo wa kanisa lako unapoanzisha kanisa 
If they are planning uh, negative things concerning your church. Kama wamechota nyayo za kanisa lako. If they have taken the footsteps of your church. Kama wamenena juu ya sadaka na maajent wakaja wakaja na wawa wakatoa sadaka kwenye huduma yako. If they have spoken against your offering and the agents of, this, of Satan have come and also given offering in your basket. Alafu wewe. Hujui shetani alichofanya wakaenda kukaa kikao na usiku kucha wanapindua huduma yako alafu wewe ndio unakula mikate na kutembea huko na huko swali mbegu zinazopandwa nani atakupa siri hiyo If during the night devil and all his agents they have been transforming and changing and destroying your ministry and you you have just been eating bread always how are you going to know these secret things ndio maana baadaye akianza kutokea ni mbegu zimeota linatokea tukia hapa pa linatokea huko ka hujamaliza natokea hapa pa hujamaliza unasikia huyu anaasi hujamaliza hili anasema huyu ametokea hivi ghafla wanaupata moyo wako ambaye ilikuwa ndio target yao that's why when those things started starts happening you find this one is backsliding this one is rising again as a church this one is doing negative and then they attack your heart and you wonder what is happening ngapi wanielewa How many are understand? Kwa sababu target yao wanataka kukamata moyo wako, nafsi yako. Because their target is to get hold of your heart. Alafu wewe ukai na Mungu. And because you don't stay in God's presence. Muda mrefu akufunike na uwepo wake. For a long time so that you can be covered by his presence. Ili akujulishe mambo ya siri mawazo yake juu yako. So that he can be able to show you his secret and his mind towards you. Pia kama adua na mipango juu yako, juu ya huduma yako, juu ya watoto wako, ehe, akupe pia taarifa na kitu kinachotakiwa kufanya. And so that if the enemy has got negative plans concerning your family, your ministry and everything, he can show you what to do next. Maana Mungu huwa hatutafuti sisi, sisi ndio tunamtafuta Mungu. Because God does not not seek for us god is we are the one who need to seek god ndio kanuni yake that's his principle nitafuteni maana nitaonekana seek me and i'll be found of you hallelujah hallelujah mkaribieni mungu naye mungu atawakaribia ninyi draw near to god and god will draw near to you sasa ukiwa huna muda wa kumkaribia aliyekuita nani atakupa maagizo ya kiofisi yako if you don't have time to draw before god If the enemy attacks who is going to give you direction on what is happening? Matokeo yake unaweza kafeli na ukaongoza kwa mawazo ya shetani bila wewe kujua. The result is that you are going to fail and you are going to lead the people of God with your own mind and with the devil's mind without your knowledge. 